sit in a comfortable chair and wipe your energy field off with your hands. Run your hands in front of your face, down in front of your chest and your abdomen and down your legs, over the tops of your feet and then shake off your hands. Run your hands up your forehead, over the top of your head, down the back of your neck and your shoulders. And shake off your hands. Brush off your energy field down each arm. One arm. And then the other arm. One more time. Down in front, in front of your face, your chest, your abdomen, legs, and the tops of your feet. Shake off your hands. Now your forehead up over the top of your head, down the back of your neck and your shoulders. Shake it off. And then wipe off the energy field down both your arms, one arm. with your eyes closed and your feet on the ground. Close your eyes and breathe naturally and slowly in and out through your nose. As you're breathing, allow your belly to expand and contract with your breath. with your breath, you are signaling to your body that it is safe to relax. If, on the other hand, you are breathing in the top of your chest, you're signaling to your body that you are in fight, flight or freeze. expand and contract with your breath and with each inhalation imagine that you are inhaling white light in through the top of your head and in through the bottom of your feet and the white light meets at your heart and every time you exhale imagine that you're exhaling darkness that you might feel, see, sense, or just know is inside of you out through the top of your head and out through the bottom of your feet. It's like you are a vertical accordion where white light comes in from the top and bottom, meets at your heart, and darkness goes out through the top and bottom. The white light represents your divine mind, infinite becoming, Christ consciousness, angels, guides, whatever word has meaning to you. The darkness that you are exhaling represents your worries or cares or other people's energies old programming from society, old programming from family. And you continue to inhale white light and exhale darkness. And you notice that with each breath, the darkness gets lighter.
And now you are inhaling and exhaling white light. And with each breath, the white light that you are gets brighter and brighter and brighter. In your mind's eye, it looks like or feels like you're standing in a column of white light. And this column of white light is your connection to your divine mind and infinite becoming above and below. Everyone has their own connection. Everyone has their own column of white light. But sometimes people can't feel their own connection. And when people can't feel their own connection, they often, consciously or unconsciously, reach out to other people's energy fields and feed off them. If anyone is doing this to you, in your mind's eye, it will look like or maybe feel like have strings or cords of energy that are draining your column of white light. If you feel, see, sense, or just know that you have people draining your column of white light, unplug each and every cord and send it, on, send it on its way. Or you can pull out a big machete or a pair of scissors and cut them off. Know that you are supported. We ask that infinite becoming helps with this process. While you and infinite becoming detach all of these strings and cords of energy. I'm going to count from 10 down to zero. And when I reach zero, all of the strings and cords of energy will be gone. 10. You notice that every time you unplug one of these cords or cut one off, the place where the cord and your column of white light intersect heals over and becomes stronger than ever. Seven. Six.
is anybody stealing or taking your energy. But sometimes we give our energy away. We usually do this if we want to help somebody or influence a situation. But giving your own energy away is not the way to do it. If you want to help someone or influence a situation, imagine them in their own column of white light. Imagine them connecting to their own power, to their own source. But do not feed them your energy. In your mind's eye, look around and see if you have sent any of your strings or cords of energy out to any person, people, or situation. And if you have, pull them in like you are putting away your your garden hose after you've watered the lawn. Again, we're going to ask for the help of infinite becoming. I'm going to count from ten down to zero while you and infinite becoming pull in all of your strings or cords of energy. When I reach zero, they will have all been pulled in. Notice that every time you pull in a cord, that where it intersected with your column of white light heals over and becomes stronger than ever. Seven. are pulled in. Zero. You feel nourished and strong. You can feel the muscles in your forehead relaxing. The muscles around your eyes let go. jaw relaxes, your skin is tingling, it is you and your divine mind, an infinite becoming in this calm of white light. And now to keep the intention of not giving away your energy. Surround yourself with a cylinder of steel that has no top and no bottom. That way the white light can still enter. You have complete control of this cylinder of steel. Make the inner diameter wide enough that you can spread your arms, somersault, dance, spin around, 
do whatever you want in your column of white light. And the cylinder of steel does not restrict your movement in any way. You're also in charge of how thick the wall is of the cylinder of steel. microscopically thin so that it's transparent. And when you're around a lot of people, you want you might want to make it an inch thick or a foot thick or a yard thick. And here you are in your column of white light, protected by the cylinder of steel. signals your divine mind can hear your thoughts and you can hear the thoughts of your divine mind in your mind say please rock my head front to back for me so I can feel it please rock my head front to back for me so I can feel it means yes you say thank you to your divine mind now we're going to ask for the no signal please rock my head side to side for me like ear to shoulder please rock my head side to side for me so I can feel it Side to side movement represents the answer no. Now I want you to ask your divine mind Is my energy field 100% cleansed and compact? your energy field is 100% cleansed and compact. Now let's make sure who you are communicating with. In your mind you ask, am I communicating with my divine mind? And you'll either get a front to back yes, or a side to side no. get a no, 
you ask, are you of the light? You'll either get a front to back yes or a side to side no. We only want to communicate with the light. So if you got a no, I'm not from the light. You tell them to go away. You say everything that is not of a light is gone. And so it is. Thank you and for the becoming. And now you ask, is there anything you want to tell me at this time? is yes. Your divine mind has messages for you. So you say, tell me what you want to tell me. Our messages come in through our body-soul bridge. They come through our senses and it's up to us to interpret what the message is. You might get a feeling in your body. You might say, see a picture in your mind. You might get a thought pop in your head. You might hear something, smell something, or taste something. Regardless of the avenue in which the message arrives, you get to confirm the meaning. You might have an idea what your divine mind is trying to tell you. So you ask, are you saying yada, 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 whatever it is that you're interpreting? And you'll get a front to back yes, or a side to side no. Or sometimes a circular answer, which is, which to me means, well, it's not quite what I want to tell you. say, tell me what you want to tell me, and I'll give you some time to receive your messages.
even if you were not able to extract the exact meaning of the messages, it doesn't mean that they were not effective. Your divine mind and infinite becoming communicate with you through vibration. By doing this meditation often, you allow the vibrations to integrate in your being. You are love. You receive love, you give love. When you experience emotions other than love, it's just because you're telling yourself a story that is not true. Change your story. Wiggle your fingers and your toes.